weeks now, parents at Clayton High School have voiced their concerns about how the reassignment of the former principal was handled. Tonight, the district's interim superintendent admitted he would have done things differently. Colleen Quigley is live at the high school tonight, and she's been following this story since the beginning. Colleen. Yeah, Angela and Marius, Dr. Jim Consby actually spent the entire day meeting with students, staff, and teachers here at Clayton High School, wrapping up tonight, talking with parents. And honestly, at times, it got emotional for him and for the parents. He told them tonight he is still investigating whether or not Dr. Bennett Jones' reassignment was justified. If it had been me, and it wasn't, if it had been me, it would have been handled differently. Speaking to a crowd of Clayton High School parents, Dr. Jim Cosby was clear. He would have handled the investigation into whether or not the district's former superintendent was justified in reassigning the school's former principal differently. I'm not saying anything went wrong, but there's a potential for people to believe that something was wrong if it's been handled by somebody that reports to the person who the grievance against. Back in August, Dr. Bennett Jones was removed as Clayton High School's principal. He filed a grievance against the then superintendent, saying Dr. Ross Renfro didn't have cause. Renfro has since retired, and Tuesday night, Cosby told parents the internal investigation into Jones's grievance was complete. So that's what happened with this one. Now, Cosby is reviewing the findings of that investigation and says so far there is no evidence of recruiting by the school's football team, but is still reviewing the school's finances and if all students met graduation requirements. Well, we will get all those answered, and we will work through this, and I will get a decision made, and this school will get back to normal at some point in time. You have not signed the petition. The start to the school year here has been a bumpy one. And Dr. Cosby got emotional, telling parents he came out of retirement to help out at Clayton. Oh, so there's a need for me. And everyone's feeling was that I was the only one who could do it. Now, whether that's true or not, it's immaterial. That was important to me. Parents like Kim Winslow say Cosby's findings validated her concerns with the handlings of Bennett's reassignment. Through this whole process, we've wanted Dr. Jones to be heard, and we've wanted to be heard as far as our concerns. All right, so parents asking tonight, where do we go from here? So the next step, if Dr. Bennett Jones wants to continue with the grievance, there's going to be a hearing. He can present witnesses and evidence. From that point, uh, Dr. Cosby will decide whether or not Jones's reassignment was justified. And then, based on that decision, he'll decide whether or not to reinstate him here at Clayton High School. Now, Angela and Morris, there was one other really big thing that came out of this uh, meeting tonight with parents. So it was previously reported by the school district that that 13 students graduated without having met the state's requirements. Well, today, Cosby wanted to clear that up. He said he's actually so far been able to clear six of those students. He is still looking at the transcripts and combing through the history for the other seven. Reporting live in Clayton, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.